الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احبت في الله كيف كيف التربية السلفية؟ How is it a Salafi-oriented education? Why is it even important? Habatifillah, no doubt all of us are looking for hidayah, we're all looking for guidance. And we all are aware that it requires ikhlas lillah, and for that Allah Sunnah, we agree upon that. But not everyone gets that hidayah. Not everyone has the tawfiq from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to gain the hidayah and gain the guidance, a Salafi guidance, a Salafi type hidayah. Why is it important? Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said خَيْرَ النَّاسِ قَرْنِي ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونُهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونُهُمْ The best people are of my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. Letting us know the first three generations had their fadl. And we know that the Kutub al-Ittiqad, Kutub al-Ittiqad, come from the Madhab al-Salaf Minhaj Salafiyyah those first three generations as the Prophet Wasallam praised them and said that they're the best of the Ummah so this is where we take our Ittiqad from our Aqidah and this is how we have the Fadl of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the only way <coughs> to really actualize that is through ilm. Ilm al nafiya beneficial Islamic knowledge. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi ilman sahalallahu luhu tariqan ala jannah. Whoever traverses the path of knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for him the path to paradise. So the Salaf used to say Talib al ilm Talib al Jannah, seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. So if seeking knowledge is the path to paradise, then obviously we need to know the tariqa, the path to seeking knowledge. And the path to seeking knowledge, Ahabatifillah Ali ideal ulama it's by the at the feet and at the hands of the ulama meaning that you take knowledge from scholars and we further assert that those scholars are not just any scholars meaning they have to have a muqayyid it's restricted why it's restricted that they are scholars of ahl sunnah that they are scholars Min da'wah to Salafiyya wa min hajj Salafi. And that's because if you don't, even if you take from someone who is close to the madhab of the Salaf, or aqrab ilayna, or even close, very close to us, but they differ in some issues, maybe the issue of takfir, maybe in the issue of what their position is with regard to the Muslim rulers, maybe they disagree with us, meaning us, meaning the itiqad of Ahl sunnah the minhaj of Ahl sunnah that they differ with certain aspects and say, no, this is an issue of ijtihad. Uh, uh, and then, of course, it's their ijtihad. Maybe the Salaf have ijma on that mas'ala. Or perhaps that in la latter times, they basically had ijma about this issue. For example, rebelling against the oppressive leader. 
So you'll find many people that teach Tawheed and they teach aspects of the Sunnah, but they deviate regard the leaders, regard the leaders like Muhammad bin Surur, these people like this. They're affected by kut Kutubiyyah, like Sayyid Kutub's Atkar, especially regarding the Hukam, regarding the government. So they'll say the worst and evilest things about the government and even about the scholars. They'll make fun of the scholars of Ahl Sunnah. So it would not be advisable to take knowledge from people like this because that can lead you astray. So we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a, a path and that is a path through knowledge and it's by taking knowledge from scholars of Ahlul Sunnah and it's by here adhering to the minhaj and the methodology of Ahlul Sunnah which is the method of the Salaf and that means going back to those kutub those books and as is related from an ather of Imam Malik in which he, he said, which means, لا يصلح آخر هذه أمة إلا بما صلها أولها that this nation, meaning the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, would not be rectified. They would not find rectification except by what rectified the first generation. The early scholars. So this is why it's imperative to know who you take your knowledge from. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us with the khlas, with the bad, and blesses us to be on the sunnah.